Okay, am I back? I think I'm back. Yeah, I think I'm back. That was weird. I mean, not that weird because I know what happened. Anyway, I didn't even check the stick to see that it was like this. What is this? What's this port for? I don't know what it is for. Uh, can I even see it? Yeah. What is this port? Yeah, I'm back. Thank you. I'm back. Yay. So... Okay. Well, whatever. I wonder if that also introduces some input lag because that's an adapter, so to speak. Yes. Come on. Okay. All right. Let's see. No, I can't really notice anything. Maybe I'm just. Oh, wait. I'm in the wrong color. Oh, I screwed up already. Whatever. Okay, we'll give it one more shot. Um, the the disconnection really psyched me out. No, I didn't want We're trying it with the adapter this time. I'm not noticing anything, honestly. See, like, every enemy pattern in this game is designed in a way that allows you to get three... three kills of the same color to keep up your chain. And stage one makes it very apparent that that's how they want to design levels. <sighs> and unfortunately the way, because of that, it actually... You notice how I just ignored some enemies here? Well, that's, that's optimal. You actually want to ignore enemies if you mess up your chain. So that uh, your route, I mean. So that you're able to... Ah, uh, screwed up. You actually want to ignore some enemies in order to keep up your chain. Which I don't really like. Because it goes against everything I like in the shmup, which is killing stuff. You know what, I'm not going to bother with trying to score that pattern. It's too hard. I'm not going to bother scoring this either. I can do it. I've practiced it before, but I'm, it's a different story on arcade stick. Oh, I can. You can see that on the side there, I have an A rank achievement on the second block from the on the left. That A achievement there means I got an A rank on this stage. And you can't see it because of the way I'm playing, but I've done it before. I've gotten high scores. Uh!
Oh. Killing stuff is kind of what shmups are about. Yeah, except this game, you want to kill stuff in a certain order. And not because you're doing it in a route like other shmups, like kill this enemy first to deal with it and etc. You want to be careful of the color of the enemy you're fighting. Which makes it very different from other shmups, which is why most shmup fans actually don't like this game in particular. Up. See how I'm killing three every time? This is just how this game works. Oh, I screwed up. Whatever. So you want to play like that, how you want to be careful of your shot placement in order to get those chains for scoring purposes. You can definitely play this game without scoring, but uh, with this kind of game, I would actually just... Uh, I should use a... Okay, I need to focus a little bit. Ah, it's... Uh... For this kind of game, for the first time, I would definitely recommend trying to get through it normally. Because if you, getting through it normally means you don't have to worry about chaining and etc. But sometimes the chaining is so easy, you may as well just do it. Uh, this one might be tough. I screwed up already. This, in this part here, I have the... I have the mantra of all you have to do to get through that area to score is to get good. Which basically means you have to be very comfortable with the polarity. What? Didn't I swap? One... Uh, okay, that's it. That's enough Ikaruga. Um, one issue I do have with this game um, is it's really hard to see what polarity you are. So I'll, I'll go into the game a little bit and I won't I won't play through it. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So the idea in a shmup is so the idea in the shmup is where is where you're supposed to look on the screen. Traditionally in the shmup, and changes between the stages and etc. You want to be looking at where the enemies are coming from and what their bullets are. You want to see what they are. And of course you want to do that in Ikaruga, of course. But in Ikaruga, it adds an additional looking element to that aspect, uh, whatever. It adds an additional... Uh, thing to look at and that's your own ship now in other shmups you don't really want to look at your own ship because if you're looking at your ship that means you're not looking at the patterns and the enemies you don't know what you're dodging basically you're tunnel visioning um with this game unless you're really good at determining what polarity you are you're gonna forget what polarity you are so you're going to have to take a glance at your own ship to see what polarity you are. So I'm blue right now because I looked at it, right? But in the heat of the moment, you're not going to be able to look at that efficiently. You're not going to be good at looking at this, your ship. Sometimes you forget what polarity you are. So right now, I'm not, I don't even know why I am. What color am I? I don't know. Oh, I'm blue. Uh... Now, I don't know. Oh, red. I'm red. So, it's really hard to see what polarity you are in the heat of the moment when you're not looking at your ship. And you can't just... If you're scoring, you can't just shoot your bullets and see what color you are. That's how... That's, you, that's one method of doing it, but... If you do it this way, then you have no idea what you're shooting at. And unfortunately, in a game like this, you do have to pay attention to what you're shooting at because that, that's the only way to build up chain, right? 
You build up chain by killing the same colored enemies three in a row. And the only way to pay attention to that is to look at the enemies. So it's... So that's like one... Uh, that's an additional aspect of this kind of shmup where... It's very different from other shmups. So that's just one minor factor to it. Um, one one more factor to it, which is this is my own subjective feeling about these shmups, is the way they deal with walls and obstacles, um, in this game. Because in a traditional shmup, and this this is I guess traditional, you touch a wall, you die instantly, which is fine, right? But in this game. Every stage has that aspect to it. Every stage is cramped and you have to navigate through these walls in order to get through it, right? But, and that is okay. The problem is, one of, the problem is the bullets are designed in a way where they close you off as well because they make use of this polarity system where the bullet patterns are walls right next to you. So the whole game just gives off this very cramped feeling, this very claustrophobic feeling to it, which I really don't like. And that's why I appreciate Zero Ranger so much, because you don't have to deal with that sort of thing. All the walls that you collide with in Zero Ranger don't kill you instantly. I'm gonna play out this stage. I practice I practice this stage a little bit until I die. That was pretty bad. Ah, I screwed up. I'm bad. I'm just bad. I'm just bad. Let me try that one more time. I wanna try that one more time. Is it like a web browser? Oh. Okay, you know what? Never mind. You get the idea. Um, is there a web browser that tests uh, something online that tests input lag by any chance? Controller input lag test. Is that an actual? You can use HTML5 gamepad to test the controllers. For PC controllers, those will not be accurate to console if that's what you want to test. No, that's fine. I'm sure there is, of course, right? Connect your gamepad and press buttons to begin. Uh, swap to display. Why is the cat jam there? Let's, let's get that out of the way. Hmm. <laughs> No, this is not testing input lag, really. There's a timestamp, but that's not what I want. It's to test the controller. What's the best way to test input lag in a controller? You need some external device because there's no way for a computer to know when you've actually pressed a button. The computer can only know it registered your button press. Hmm, okay. So I need an external device. Isn't there some way I could just like easily have a rough test? All I want is a rough test. Nah, it looks like, um, looks like I need some external device, which is what I was afraid of. Eh, that's fine. Gotta get that out of the way. It feels like there's some input lag.
No, mm, I don't think. Uh, honestly, if there is, it's very minute, and I'm not sure I would notice it. Anyway, I like this stick. I, I am kind of annoyed about the artwork, but whatever, whatever, it's fine. I'm sure the next time I do this, which won't, which, I don't know. I don't, I don't know when the next time I'll be doing this, uh, sort of stream or even modding this, this stick. Um, but if I decide to mod this stick again, I know what to fix. I have the experience, so that's good enough. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, so. Tomorrow is Friday, right? There, there won't be any stream on Friday. Um, Saturday, unfortunately, there's a dinner I have to go to. So there won't be a stream on Saturday. I was really hoping to play Lost Blue, but I can't. Uh, um, then on Sunday, I'll play Fallout 3. I'll bring this stick to locals, by the way, all of a sudden. So I'll show you how bad it is. It's really bad in person, but I'm sure on the camera it's fine. But yeah, whatever. All right. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, I'm sorry I didn't start later. Normally this would be around the time I start, but I just couldn't wait to get the stick working. So I, I started way earlier than I usually do. Bye-bye.